done. They sell here, so. I'm going to remove your shutters. It's a tough job. Someone's got to do it. Pro. Look at that. Boom. Take a, <laughs> take a screenshot of that and replicate it if you want to. <laughs> one man, one camera. Satellites, yo. <laughs> One entire team of people behind the scenes. <laughs> hey there, little dragonfly friend. He's not very little. He's a huge dragonfly monster. So that's it. That was the storm. Like, it's sunny now. It's not windy. Uh, the water is peaceful. I don't know if we can zoom never cope but yeah everything's peaceful again even the garden furniture is out there <laughs> strange so this is the peace bringing dragonfly what's up buddy hi hello big friend you're my buddy Where's my buddy? What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Kiss my seven sister camp. Boom! This is so good. Workout time. My familiar place. There's a little bit of debris around from the not very devastating storm. I guess we just got lucky or whatever. Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to do a workout. I'm going to leave the camera on in live time. Uh, Going for a different angle this time, I'm going downhill. This slopes down, so I'm gonna be doing like upper chest so on a bit of a slope. like triple set arm switcheroo time saver we've done all three sets in a row Ugh. my goal is to keep the camera running see how quick we can do this just to be like yo I did it better than not doing it Storm guard <laughs> shutter removal day. And looking at Joanne's garden. I didn't realize it goes out here. I thought that was the end of it. Oh, wow. These are a wonderful uh, Surreyham cherry. Okay. And they come every other year. And this is, I've been coaxing this for years, this cherry tree. And this oh, year, cherries? Yep. I did, before the storm, I had about five cherries up there. I got to try one. <laughs> now this is one I grew. Here's another And that's mango, mango yeah, I was gonna yeah. say, I recognize the leaves. And they're much smaller leaves than normal though. Well, it's, they're so it's many a different, different type. Yeah, yeah. And here's another one. It's that's huge. only been in here okay. about a year, year and a half. And both of those are grown from seed. Amazing. So yeah. you have mangoes out here yeah. by the lake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Beautiful. Oh, whoa! <laughs> I just turned around and was like, boom. And look what's happened to it. Boom. They get soft off the tree. Don't oh. they? That's what I thought. I, I might be wrong. Know. But I thought you just pick them and then they soften up once you... I might be wrong. I don't know. I, I picked one and let it on the hand. counter for a week but when i cut it open it was hard it wasn't fully ripe so well, maybe you need two weeks or three weeks i don't know yeah that's a beast oh and way that's up there's another big one. Oh yeah yeah there's a big one there wow brilliant i like it yeah food in your garden this is a peach tree, specially developed peach. Yeah, by the University of Florida for 
Florida climate because usually you can't grow peaches this far south. Sweet, juicy peaches. Yes. I saw a sign for that and they gave me one of their sweet, juicy peaches. Maybe that was a Florida one. Huh? And the second year, this was just full of peaches. <laughs> and I didn't want to pick them and I'd wait. I like yeah. these too. Yeah. It's cool. So many. Bop, 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 bop. I remember the first day I was here, you were like, you can have some aloe vera. And I was like, I don't know where I would plant it. What can I do with it? Just be running with it in my belt. There you go. A little, I could take like a tiny one like that and just have it sticking out the belt. That'd be cute. <laughs> oh, there's tiny pots in the house. Yeah. That would Already be fun. in a little pot. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's nice out here, so. There I'm going to go. remove your shutters. Dun, dun, dun. Let's That's go and do, do a full okay. tour. We'll go all the way around. So we see the lake, there's little ducks, there were alligators. <laughs> Ready for the job? Yeah. Oh, and my, my citrus department. My Meyer, Meyer lemons, waiting for them to turn yellow. And this, yeah, these guys. This is the calamondin. Yeah. They're kind of bitter, uh, but they turn. Uh, orange and then you use the whole thing you, you cut them up get rid of the seeds but then you use the whole fruit grind and all and it's really good in uh, baking breads and things like that like a lemon and orange combo exactly and these are but, oranges that aren't orange yet right uh-huh that's the real good Meyer lemon oh they taste they're much sweeter than the what these this is oranges no is it lemon? Well, that is a cock. Oh, I see. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. So it's not oranges at all. It's lemons. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does it smell lemony? Not yet. What's, then... What are these? Just greens, cabbage and stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Am I <laughs> That's totally my wrong? That's failed farming. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Here is the storm shutters to be removed. And I guess I'll do that now. I'm in the shade right now. Yeah. Perfect. Time to do it. Yeah, I'll do it now. All right. Okay. Good morning, little lizard friend. I see you being a lizard. I see you being a lizard friend. Wop, wop, wop. Tough job. Someone's got to do it. Whoa, it's really echoey in here, it's crazy. There's some grass, there's the pool. This is Lily's other house. Uh, this one, ready to sell, doesn't need painting. I'm just showing everybody the house. Oh yeah. Boom, because we never saw this house. We only saw, oh, we'll go through the garage sale. Sure. We've only seen the apartments. Ta-da! 
Last chance to do yeah, it. I got some towels. <laughs> Last chance. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Anything in the grass now. Now's your chance. <laughs> and we've loaded all this up. We're going to strap it in, and we're off. So this is really what I've been doing: is helping, painting, house moving, hammering. <laughs> this place is called Castaway Point. Which makes it even more funny. <laughs> Castaway. Wilson! What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Keeps my Seb. This is Cam Boom. This is Seb Cam. This is Dan. Hey! He's signing my new ball. Check it out. I got a Wilson. Wilson connected basketball. These things are very expensive and rare. It's a Bluetooth ball. Obviously, it's not in there now. Dan's got it. Raise your game. A Bluetooth basketball. How it works, what you need. Essentially, it keeps track of your shots with a phone. So I had to get one, and we're trying to see if it will fit in the belt. <laughs> Wilson! That's <was> brilliant. <laughs> so we're just uh, pumping it up, deflating it again, and the goal is to squish it and get it in here. You know, it has to fit down one of these little bags. So we're pretty sure we got it. And uh, my mom, bless her, she had the idea that people along the way should sign the ball. So that's what we're doing. Dan's on it. Dan's the first person to sign in the ball. I'm gonna get black permanent marker on my hands constantly now. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. No, it come off. I think, oh well, yeah, it will slowly come off. From It'll come off the ball, but it shouldn't come off when you're Yeah, it. yeah, true, yeah, it won't come off my hands. It'll come off from bouncing it along the road. So I'm going to be running and dribbling. <laughs> dribbling my ball. Balls. <laughs> that looks like a professional, like, cool signature in there. Like a pro. Look at that. Boom. Take a, <laughs> take a screenshot of that and replicate it if you want to. <laughs> um, steal my signature. Yeah, yeah. It steal, never, it's never the same twice. Steal man. your identity. Never the same twice. That's awesome. I'm very happy. Yeah, right, right let's see if we can get it in there. Like, I know it will fit like that, but we need to close it, yeah? Um, I'm just wondering, like, it's so long. Will it a bit long ways. Oh yeah, easy. Boom. Looks like a little missile. Good morning ladies and gentlemen monkeys. What's up? My name is Seb. This is the Cam. Boom. This is Seb Cam. Look how the backdrop has changed. What used to be my mattress on the floor, sleeping in my favorite window, storm room, has now become the office. I'm still working on those skirting boards. It needs another coat of paint just to look good. But look at this too. I don't know if you really saw this room, but it, well, of course you saw me this room. I painted that wall. I wrote Seb Cam TV <laughs> above the bed, which is quite funny. Uh, so now it's got all Lily stuff in there. Hi, my name's Seb. This is the Cam Boom. This is going to be her living space. And here is the bathroom. I feel like this is an important lesson in couch surfing and just generally being a cool dude. I'd like to leave a good impression. So, while I've not been asked to, or it's not officially my responsibility, now I'm done painting. I want to leave the place in a, in a clean, pristine, enjoyable way. You know, a nice environment for, uh, for Lily to move in and not feel like, oh, there's all this um, remnants of Seb, the sort of uh, the mess. 
or the uncleanliness or I want to leave it perfect like a show home and this is something I really have to credit to my mom for how she's um, raised me raised me and also it's a, a case of treat others how you'd like to be treated and it's really a testament to how thankful I am that I've had this awesome place to stay. Also, these are friends that I will see again and again, undoubtedly for years to come. So, it makes sense to me to at least at the very least, since I haven't paid a penny, and in fact they've paid me for all this painting work, why not go above and beyond the call of duty? Why not leave a good impression and even immortalize it in video? And share a lesson with you guys. Maybe you stayed at someone's house, or you've done your own kind of couch surfing and a friend, family, whatever. Have you thought to make the effort to say thank you with your actions? Just saying the word thank you doesn't really change anything. It shows some level of appreciation. It's better than saying nothing. But a lot like the word sorry, which is, of course, an apologetic gesture. It doesn't change anything. It's just a word. It's just, you just say this word and well, everything's okay now. I'm a big believer in action. Instead of sorry, I'd rather find a solution. Instead of saying thank you, I'd rather show you how thankful I am by cleaning the bowl. <laughs> by leaving a good impression all round. This is going to be beneficial to future relationships, but it's also beneficial to me, for me to have a good feeling in my head as I leave here, like, hey, I kept to my fourth agreement and I did my best. Walk away thinking, yeah. I did a good job. I was the best Seb I could be. This painting looks beautiful. I've moved into here now. This is where I'm sleeping, just so you know. Still a work in progress, All right? Still being worked on. So it's as much for peace of mind as it is for making the other person feel good. I'm trying to do a few things at once here. Let's put this back. You know what I've come to the conclusion of in the last 24 hours, really, is that I've been seeking a help, virtual assistance, personal assistance, there's only so much I can do. One man, one camera, one entire team of people behind the scenes <laughs> helping me out, right? Making this whole thing happen. There's a lot you don't see. There's a lot of people who I really appreciate in my team. And I'd like to delegate more to them, but I'd also like to take more responsibility for myself. So... I'm going to sit down, put my shoes on while we chat. So, I've come to the conclusion that who's the best personal assistant but me, myself, my own ideas, my own uh, list of things to do instead of relying on someone else. The conclusion I've come to, the, the punchline I'm getting to is, how about 
I just go on a mission to do as many of these tasks myself and I'll do it immediately. So when I thought, hey, I should clean that bathroom because this is kind of the last day that I'm in there and I'm moving over to this other side of this apartment. This is when uh, I think we'll just do it now. And then I'm thinking, well, I should make a video telling everyone that first thing in the morning after sunrise, I like to go out, get moving and not get straight on the phone and straight to answering people and uh, working on tasks. So I think to myself, I should make a video and I should introduce my new Wilson. Wilson! Now we we briefly got to see a, a sort of a unboxing, a, a disorganized unboxing of the Wilson um, last night. Dan was here. Dan the man. Oh, water. I'm gonna guzzle some water. I'm not gonna carry water with me. I'm certainly gonna drink some. Carry it in my belly bag. I think that's amazing that it's Castaway Point Park is where I get the ball. I get the Wilson at Castaway. Makes sense to me. Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen, monkeys. So, this is my first hoops with the ball. And I stopped and thought, oh, I haven't downloaded the app. So, I go to do that. This is a cool park, by the way. Look behind me. There's this, like, I don't know, funky looking stuff. Satellites. Satellites, yo. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I go to download the app and then I search for it, Wilson X, on the Play Store for Android. Nothing comes up. I'm like, huh? So I Google it. A few people are kind of saying, yeah, here's the app, you know, with the Wilson X app. So I Google it again. It doesn't seem like the app is still available. Like, I'm a bit confused. The ball is not really available for sale and maybe the app has also been kind of taken off the market which is like a real disappointing like I'm right here like I couldn't be any more right here ready to track my percentages maybe I've spent a hundred bucks on the most expensive normal ball ever which will be really disappointing so I'm already kind of disappointed and then, and then I get stung by some hornet bee thing. I don't know what it was. It was like a ninja. It was black and mostly black with a few orange or yellow bits. Ah. Ah. Maybe it's just a wasp. Maybe it's like an American wasp. It doesn't look like a UK wasp. Because I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing any stinger, like a bee would leave its stinger. And I don't think it hurts enough to be a hornet, like it's kind of stopped hurting now. It was just initially like, ah, something stung me. It landed on my shorts and I bent over to get the ball in it. It got crushed between my shorts and my obliques. So I guess I'll shoot around and I won't be able to keep track of how many I made unless I count them in my head.
swished it. My percentage is low. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Probably 10% at best, less than that. So uh, I don't need an app or any, you know, smart connected anything to know that I'm out of sync, out of practice but loving being out here. This is lovely. I'm, I'm like, why? Why didn't I come here sooner? I guess I didn't have a ball is why, but now I can stop and play anywhere. Tonight, take an exclusive behind the scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cow. <laughs> yeah!